I should be caught up after we complete this Gilded Elites pack review. This is for 17 doll hairs and 25 cents. You're getting a lot though. We're gonna inspect items here. We have Lux in a really cool version. I think the hair, <laughs> they did her dirty on the hair. That is not exactly what it looks like, but it's still cool that we have the Lego form as well. Um, hollow point wings here for a back bling. Ideal cutter. Sounds okay. Gunslinger calamity. All right, high heels again. It is what it is. The Lego counterpart looks great though. Looks really good. This back bling is really cool. Eternal longhorn. I love that. That is a very clean back bling. Harvesting tool as well called Gun Swinger. I like that. It's like a revolver. That is a cool design for a harvesting tool. The Goldfish. Okay. Leviathan is my kryptonite, but it's like a, um, a Midas Leviathan Goldfish type like crossover. This looks really good in Lego form too. That is 10 out of 10. This back bling looks really fun as well. The sub Submariners safe that is a pretty cool back thing. a little bulky but very cool in design and then the spear gun slasher man there's a lot to go over supporter creator piz zero pizza with the zero you know we're getting it baby for this current gameplay i'm using the lantern glow weapon wrap i'm looking at the wings right now it looks like they do pinch in a little bit as i'm sprinting here which is fine so what i like about the back bling is it's made up of bullets Unless I'm completely blind here, it looks like bullets, which is a really cool feature here. ADS as well. Love the hair physics on the bangs there. Here's what it is. She's got some gnarly nails as well. I didn't notice that. Wow. So far, it looks pretty good. I love the sidearm as well that she has on her thigh right there. Her right thigh looks great. This is the classified umbrella. Big shocker. black and gold you you know you never really know what kind of gold it's gonna be right so this isn't as gold as some of the other cosmetics in this set in terms of her outfit but the back bling does have that nice gold on it equip and equip nothing too crazy right here a little bit of a gold streak i would say Nothing crazy on the impact. I will say I don't care much for the back bling right now. I'm a little... How do I say it? Burnt out on wings. That's just me. Maybe it's you guys as well. Wings are... Hmm. They were cool when they first came out. They were cool for a long time. I'm just kind of over them at this point. Hitting opponents though. Sounds good hitting opponents. It did sound good there. What's interesting about Lux right now, I'm noticing we also have the back bling off, is she does have silver and gold, which is usually a no-no in the fashion world, I think. Silver and gold, but that means we can do a little bit more with combos that we're going to show you right now. Starting with the clutch and dagger back bling, that looks pretty clean to me. We have the darkest edge as well. Bringing in some silver with the fire vortex. I think it looks pretty good. This is what it came with. We have the slice and dice, which does have the silver and gold we're looking for. And also here... I will admit the gold is slightly too orange, but the lavish Louie looks pretty good here nonetheless. Combos with the back bling, hoplite, Giannis. We have Midas, Midas as well. This is what it came with. We have Midsummer Midas Midas, which actually looks cool with his tattoos. It kind of flows together nicely. Then we have the Huntmaster Saber, Xbox exclusive for getting that console. Kind of a waste of money in my opinion. And then we have the Hush outfit. Hush, 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 hush. This is Gunslinger Calamity here, and I love this back bling so much. Physics are great on her jacket here. ADS should be okay. I don't like her collar that's sticking up here by her hair. I don't enjoy how that looks. <laughs> it is clipping through her hair a lot, but I am using for this gameplay as well. The Suit Surfer Glider, I believe is what it's called looks really cool here it's also not a bad theme in terms of like old western movies with them playing cards and stuff so i think it works here equip when equip i'm seeing a little bit of a sparkle for a streak here i'm seeing a little bit which is great 
I mean, a gold impact would have been so, I guess, expected for me. But I do like that it is like a glitter gold effect there on the impact. It's better than default. I will say that. Way better than default. And the back thing at night as well here, as I haven't really talked about it, looks great with that effect coming out of the eyeballs of that skull. I also have one <laughs> right here in my house. I don't know if you guys do that, but hitting opponents as well. Yeah, both harvesting tools sounded pretty good hitting components, but without a back bling very quickly. It still looks good here, but I definitely prefer the back bling on. That's just me. I enjoy the back bling more than anything right now. Back blings you can wear. Atmosphere. Ballistic. Boomstick is a fun theme. Double agent stripe. I did want the black style here. My apologies for that. I thought I had that selected. But it came with, and then the red rift cage looks pretty cool as well. Comms with the back bling are a little weird because I am weird. Harley Quinn, I kind of like the color scheme here for sure. The original Calamity with the style that I prefer with the purple as well. We have Drift in the style I prefer for this back bling. Delirium, it kind of looks interesting, does it not? It kind of does. Kind of looks like a dark combo for sure. This is what it came with. Now, Stage Slayer, one of my favorites. I am a Yee Yee from time to time, so I had to put it on Stage Slayer as well. We have the Dusty Daredevil with the appropriate season to match this color scheme we're looking for. And then we have Victoria Saint. I think it looks pretty good on her. If you add a little bit more gold in your combo, 10 out of 10. Love the theme as well. Lastly, we have Goldfish. I am using the Optimistic Wrap because I wanted to bring some blue into the combo for some water theme as well with the uh, <laughs> Leviathan Floating Fish Head that is Midas Midas. It's a really fun skin. Yes, the back bling is bulky, but do we have some physics in the liquids here? I would say there was a little bit of physics with the liquids in the back bling here. Um, I love the accessories on the outfit. I love that there's like some deep sea diver um, shoes that they're wearing as well the little valves on the shoulders. I think this might be the most detailed. I like that it's kind of blinging some gold as well. I didn't notice any other outfits that had like the kind of bling happening on the outfit. For the glider, the combo copter here, I wanted to keep kind of a gold theme, obviously. And then to kind of go with the safe on the back bling, I wanted the safe for the glider as well here. But yeah, ADS is a little bulky, slightly, slightly. I will say that. Equip and equip here. Okay. Nothing really going on here. But at night, I do like the head glow as well. That looks cool. Okay. So the same type of sparkle effect that we had in the previous tool, but we didn't have anything with Lux's tool, unfortunately. It's kind of a shame. If you're asking me what I would have done, not that you are, I would have done it, something a little water themed for an impact here, at least. At least. And even the sound here. I know the original kind of sounds, I wouldn't say original, but more of like a water, like swinging sound here. Anyways. Yeah, the effects look nice here, but let me show you it without a back bling. I love what they did with the back bling, but it is just a little too bulky for what I like to run in the game. But it was done very well. And now you can see this wrap here, which is really cool to each shot here with the water. I think it's a fun thing for sure, but the combos were even more entertaining than this gameplay. I hope. We're going to start with the gold dagger pack. No surprise there. We did another safe with the strong box here. I think it's a fun theme. That's what it came with. We have the anchor back bling. I love the theme for underwater. Personal pollinators just look good and they're not too distracting. I think it looks really funny. Um, Skelebun key because a very sophisticated outfit here needs a very sophisticated key for a back bling. And then just for a nice fun little gold burger, the El Dorado. Combos with the back bling. I never get to use the deep sea set in my reviews. So we have deep sea destroyer. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it because I never get it. Deep sea dominator as well. We're gonna take this, okay? It's a small victory. It's the gold a little too gold from the back bling, yes, but I'm taking it. <laughs> this is what it came with. We have the Wreck Raider here, which is a fun underwater theme. Original fish stick. Sure, why not? And then we have a pirate with Sea Wolf here. The very sophisticated pirate Sea Wolf edit style. Coming into this review, I didn't know what to expect. I will say I was impressed, actually. It is a little pricey, 
which do get a lot of bang for your buck. Very creative cosmetics. I'm a little getting a little burnt out of gold stuff, but still very well done. Support creator PIC Zero and with seniors in the live stream. See ya.